Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 46. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 1st of May, 2020. Happy May, everybody. Uh, here are the players. Adrian, I play Arya Bluebird, half elf druid. Hello, I'm uh, Sean, and I play Bastiel, the Warforged Cleric. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a Crombar, who is a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play the Kitlith Anastasia, a Wood Elf Rogue. Hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. Right, who remembers what happened last time? Vampires. Plants everywhere. <laughs> we got attacked by Vincent Valentine. We got attacked by Crombar. Oh yeah, that as well. But that that's that um that, details. That, that this never happened. <laughs> oh you're does in it now. Do you even remember? I don't think he does. No, I do. I do oh. remember. Oh. Because I'm still aware of what I was doing. I just uh. didn't have control over it. And you loved every second of it. I mean, I feel like Scott might have enjoyed it more than Crumbar did. Um oh. I did. I took no pleasure at all in harming my friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Also, oh, no, that's great. Uh, and I don't think it says anything about you don't remember it, so you definitely do remember everything that happened during Charm. Yeah, so, yeah that's fun. Um, yeah, so we had Grumbar being charmed. We had a vampire, it seems. Uh, what else did you say there, sorry, Sean? Um... We found out about that dwarf. He was a grave slayer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and a badass. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I probably want to go down that path if we're talking goals again. Probably get that guy to wherever he's going or whatever. That'd be a cool goal. Mm -hmm. Did mm -hmm. we get a name for him? I can't remember. I mean, neither can I. So probably not. <laughs> I mean, legit, probably didn't. Um, mm -hmm. Don't think he has a. You name guys listed. were kind of busy getting into the you know action, see. so. I mean, I was too busy getting my brain invaded. Well, that too. Brain vision. Um, yeah. No, I don't think he had a name yet. Yeah, um, not really kind of. I don't think he's had time for that. I think mostly it was just try not to die to the Dark Elves. Um, There's no name in my notes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do have a name for him, though, so I have. It's in my session 44 notes. So he does have a name. Bob. Um, but obviously we'll just need to wait and see what happens as I drop notes for every other game I have on the floor <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. is this just where we're going to have like a, a amalgamation of all your worlds joined into yeah. one now you, yeah. don't, you don't want that <laughs> given where my Monday game is <laughs> the realities are warping <laughs> ready for jump in 3, 2, 1 everybody yeah. fails their constitution save <laughs> So oh the, God, it's a Sorry. the space game has, they're on their third ship and they're trying to get their second ship back to where their third ship is now, so I wouldn't say it's a, a safe place to get to in this, the Monday game, so. Yeah, as long as we don't turn out like the uh, Rainwood Estate, Halfway I'm through. happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, they jumped their ship into the middle of a exploding space station to get one of their crew members, which was kind of cool. That so. awesome. For more on the adventures of the Starfinder crew, please go check out my <laughs> other channel. <laughs> well. um, I also made it past 100 subscribers. I was very happy with that. Yeah, um, yeah how, did, how did you manage so that happy again, for right? you. Uh, mostly just because hundreds of people, hundreds <laughs> of people just randomly added me on Facebook, so I just asked them all to subscribe. And it got me mm -hmm. enough to get over the threshold oh. I needed. So, and of course, me pimping it all over the LGW in London uh, um, does, did not help at all. No, 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 no. Not at all, no. because me saying what I did recently somehow diminished what you have done in the past <laughs> in that I'm in joking. that world. Um, so, yes, that aside, I like the fact that I'm now youtube.com forward slash Victor Triumph. That's awesome. Nice. Which is really cool. Oh, so, Congrats. Thank you very much, everybody. Anyway, so in the last session, yes, use in general, if we just take the last event, shall we, instead of the last session, because I think it is a bit of a bigger thing because there was a lot of fighting. You pretty much oh, yeah. traversed a lot of the Undermarch. You got into a lot of Dark Elf attacks. You then 
what else, right? You've got there, you've discovered some kind of strange ritual, right? You discovered horses are actually quite a liability, even though they help you travel a bit faster. Um, oh my god, yes. the horses. I'm, I'm, I'm dreading to know what's happened to the horses. They formed a union, that's what happened. And then... <laughs> no. Yeah. It's fine, I can talk them out of whatever they're planning. <laughs> they're strong um... and stable. Uh, no pun intended. Oh, so uh, oh <laughs> I'm just gonna start with terrible jokes. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, and then he's obviously discovered some kind of dark elf mage man. Um, you know, who, who summoned Dracula? Yeah, who essentially, for legal reasons, didn't summon Dracula, but did in fact uh, seem to help bring about a vampire, which is interesting. Get away with Dracula, by the way, if you want. It's more than fifty years old, but yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, it's probably public domain now. Um, but yeah, so beyond that, anyway. you've had yeah. met a uh, captive dwarf man as well. Um, that isn't his name, not captive dwarfman, but <laughs> he had obviously trouble staying with the same accent, so that's going to be hilarious. Uh, if I can even get my way back to it, I probably can't. So. Just accept that. Uh, yeah, anything else I'm missing? Um, we got waylaid by plant shit. Yeah. Never forget. Never forget the <laughs> one of the more impressive spells. Actually, let's face it, that was quite an impressive spell. Like it was even a if, spell. like even if it was particularly terrible, right? In terms of what it did for you guys, yeah. Horrendous. Cool. I didn't even know. It existed. Yeah, I... I didn't know that could happen in D and D. It was the scale of its um, utility is what I didn't yeah, realize. I, I, I knew it existed, but uh, I didn't know it was as good as that in certain I, situations. I was expecting it to be like, oh yeah, a couple, like maybe like ten by ten blocks. Nope. What says I take up the entire map? Yeah. yeah. It was. Um, I I mm. was a bit surprised by that as well, and. Um, <laughs> I like to believe yeah, that your was character actually... was surprised by it too. Like, I like the idea that you were like, oh, oh I'm my... capable of this? What? Yes, yes, I, I would rather believe she was. Yeah. And um, <laughs> also that, um, you know, maybe she isn't very fully aware of what her, you know, mm -hmm. skill set is right now. Because, you know, a bunch of weird shit's happening. Like, suddenly she can do spell she's not done before and suddenly you know mistress of fire and all that mistress mm -hmm. of the flame it's a little quite confusing and new so um yeah it's a journey mm -hmm. yeah it definitely was a long <laughs> times four journey um, <laughs> um i thoroughly enjoyed it for the characters i was using that didn't care a lot about movement so that was great for me um Beyond that, yeah, uh, yeah, that's the that, that's the bit I hated is that your boy was just like, huh, "See ya, snap." Yeah. Um, <laughs> although I still think one of the best things that happened was the greater invisibility when any smacks reach with the the, the like, you know <laughs> the staff and then reach just goes, "Ah, oh, there you are." Punch. Yeah. Takes the guy out. That was pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even at disadvantage. Um, for the role. Right. I, I think we've successfully caught up on that. What about goals then? Let's have a review of those. So, uh, I think the kind of only one that we really changed was number five, the find out how to heal the vampire damage. Right, here. and wasn't that technically already explained in the, the the text itself for the attack? I feel like if it was, it's not really a valid goal. Um, it, like wears off uh, eventually or something. Like, where uh, are we? Let me let me go find out exactly where that is. Uh, well, oh, the, the goals, I think. I mean, maybe there's like a side quest, like the with the dwarf guy. Maybe he was here for a reason. Well, got, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say here's the here's the line that's actually in the text itself. I'll just dump it in Discord uh, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, find it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So it's not really a goal because you're just gonna yeah. sleep on it, and it's gonna be fine, right? It's mm. you just need to yeah, make it fine. to sleep, and if you somehow get into a fight before you get asleep. Good luck. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Who is it that got um, vampire damage on them again? Hello. It was Arya. Was it, was it, yeah, I was like, is it Arya or Shan? And I can't remember which one. Nah, not me. 
I'm a robot man. He couldn't hit me. <laughs> He'd have broken his teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That would have been horrible. Oh. Um, but yes, so... Eat some steel. Reviewing the goals <laughs> then, we've got get word to GGW about Gil. We've got investigate who or what the mistress of the flame is. Get to forge safely. Get the dwarves to help the citadel. And then... What do you want as number five? Well, it's a new friend. Yeah, I do think that it'd be a good thing to look into why this guy was there. And... He could have like a really badass nemesis, and we hunt him down with him. And get no, what I'm, what I'm thinking is he's a dwarf, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he might be connected to somebody that can put her straight into, you know. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That as well. Entourage. Because yeah. I bet people can just knock on the doors and be like, It's important! We want the king to see us now! He must be important. He's like a, a grave slayer or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, that our issue is important and we want to speak to the king immediately. Whereas if you're with an important dwarf yeah. that's, you know, or maybe that knows somebody important, it might be good to help secure a audience quicker. I think. Didn't you guys already know. do that it's with the idea. other Dwarven Lord? I thought, I thought you already did that bit. You like took the what Demon is... Ashes and you got the plug through the other Dwarven Lord. Yeah, but I mean, we've got yeah. the letter from a uh, blue facey McFloaty boy who stole my Who isn't song. blue in the face at all, but yeah. <laughs> Oradak Doras. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to assume for plagiarism. <laughs> Um, or a deck, Doras. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got a, I got a letter with his, from him. Yeah. Yeah, but this, like, that, that's yep. a letter. But this is one of theirs. Oh yeah, no, yeah. To, <laughs> to, to, a living, to, breathing to, letter. To, totally agree with you, Arya. Um, like, get him to come along as well, and also be like, hey, you, we, we find out. Think, back, we scratch yours. I think oh, we just need to find out who he is exactly and what. He's Van Helsing in the dwarf that's form. <laughs> Is there like a time limit on anything we're particularly doing? Like, are we racing against the end of the world or something? Probably. Oh, okay. Pretty right, much. Yeah, we should yeah, probably stick like, with Yeah, like... There's like, a time limit, yeah. but it's not been specified. Yeah. It's right up until just before the finale is the time limit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. we're, we're, like, you know that bit in a game where it's like, are you sure you want to continue? You'll not be able to come back after yeah, this yeah. point. That's the point we're at, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. you're not there yet. You're almost there, right? Almost at that bit. Um, yeah. So I think for the most part, the only pressing time constraints are how long you think the forces of the Golden Order alone can hold out against the Abyssal Horde bleeding in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they don't have me, so not very long. Right? Haha. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, Realistically, though, it's a valid thing to say because you're a main character, and weirdly, that has power in this game. So I know, right? It is handy. Um, but yeah, so you've got a couple of avenues to follow. Then, so if okay. we if well, we look at we the should... gold, if we look at the gold as is, right? Three and four might even happen this session, right? If he's do well, three and four. Three and four, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But. It just depends what your new avenue is, because do you think one and two are going to get solved this session? Uh, I was hopefully going to try and work on number two this session. Depends okay. on what downtime and stuff we get. So, yeah. What about new goal, ensure the dwarf guy gets the safety? I mean, I feel like he was more competent than you guys, except the locked up part, right? Unless that was somehow <laughs> yeah, part of his plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I want XP. Brian. But like, how are you going to ensure his safety? Um, like, what if he just goes a different mm. way? Right? Can you see? Are you going to follow him? Shit. Yeah. See, you know how so, there was see before, so before you think of goals like ensure his safety when it's a completely unknown entity, you need to then maybe start with a, a, a step one goal, which is, you know, okay. ally myself with that... unknown entity or, you know, Let's make myself useful to said dwarf, right? Like, there needs to be something that is a, a, a challenge, but B, also achievable without too many unknowns. Let's do well, that. Let's do yeah. that. Fall with the dwarf. Yeah, because he, if we can get him to ally, because he was quite blankful to you, 
you know, so it's not like he, he doesn't really seem like in the mood to make friends. Yeah. I mean, these are basing this on yous were being attacked and yous got him out and yous were still being attacked, so why would he stop and have a chat? Right? Like, yous don't know anything about him, other than he was in a cage. Yeah. I mean, what if he was exiled from the Dwarf Kingdom? Then it, it, he's clearly not <laughs> going to help yous at all with any of this stuff, right? So That's what I said, we need to figure out right. who he is. So all no. these interesting goals are way <laughs> too far down in the roots. You seem to pull all the way back up to the seed of the goal, which would be who is yeah. it? But then talking to somebody isn't just a goal, right? Unless there's a challenge involved and you are next to him. Mm. So what what uh, would it be? Would it be make him useful to your overall goal? Which is like... Yeah, resolved dwarf. <laughs> resolved dwarf. It could be something like, <laughs> what if you tried to get him to go help the Golden Order? That could be a goal for him, right? Yeah, I mean... They... Yeah, but you yeah. just said he could be the dwarven like Zodiac killer. Yeah, but doesn't mean to say he can't also kill demons, right? Yeah. Right? Like, can you see how that's something use can control, which is the, you know, regardless of who he is, can he help with the abyssal problem? Then we can deal with him, right? Yeah, I mean, right. keep in mind you're trying to get the engine of destruction, an evil red dragon, to help at yeah. the abyss. I feel like I mean, one dwarf dude is a bit less... Yeah, e even at that, we're just trying to get allies, you mm -hmm. know? Oh, yeah, okay. Can you see what okay. I mean by like the way the way goals kind of need to fit? Because some just don't exist yeah. as achievable. Yeah. It's up to you, though. You can don't you don't have to make it about him. You can make it about anything. It could just be something yeah. like um. The only other thing I was gonna suggest is you know how there was all that pile of books and stuff like that around that guy's tomb. Just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. give them a reread, and see what they're all about. It's definitely not a goal though, reading a book. It's not yeah, a goal. Well, we could just do that. Hey, hey, yeah. for me it is. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, with some of the books you have had, yeah, like those have been goals, quite frankly. Some of those <laughs> have been kind of big. But yeah, any other thoughts? Arya, Kitlith, any other thoughts? <laughs> They're like, uh, you can't really make a goal to make pals with him and I for one like I feel Arya in particular wants to figure out like um obviously more about herself as well but in this circumstance I think the important thing is to first like well we can assess if this guy is a danger to us because he might like he might have helped us in this fight but he might actually be you know, like you guys said, like killer of some sort. <laughs> um, Make so we're all killers. Figuring <laughs> true. Yep. <laughs> but um, just the idea of like trying to figure out if this guy's like friend or foe would be good. Do you prefer right. to kill green right. things or blue things? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or fiery things that come or from hell. Things. Yeah. <laughs> which which one on the scale of are how useful to us are you? Yeah. <laughs> um again though no, it's not really a goal, right? Saying, Hey buddy, yeah, true, are, are you gonna kill I us now? Really... Like that's not so much a goal, it's just that's something you can definitely pursue is that like the new dwarf man. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's just it, you maybe don't have another avenue for the goal yet. We can obviously think about it at the end if need yeah. be as well. Yep. We, yeah, I feel like we'd be missing a trick if we left this dwarf, because like that grave slayer shit. That, that's like he's basically a celebrity if he can do that shit right in this world. That's like outstanding, okay. badassery. I assume, right? I mean, that teleportation thing. There must be some like legend. Don't really know what you're talking about. What teleportation thing? Remember he did the Grave Slayer thing and he like swapped places. Yeah, it's literally the... just swapping places with someone next to you by pulling them out the way though. <laughs> there is no teleporting. Oh, well, what? what? Yeah, literally oh. just moving Kitty out the way. Oh, fuck this guy then. Even as right. it was yeah, described. Yeah. Well, I love how you just went to like being like, this guy's a hero to, oh, fuck him. Yeah, I'm sticking oh, this he's not already. As as I thought. He's not a badass. I'm not here for it. Teleporting's quite a... Uh, a big deal. That's why, like, you know, that mage mm. was clearly a threat, as you found out, right, on his I own. Can, I, can, I can tell. Oh, that. wait, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he, he was telling oh, about and shielding himself a lot. That was mostly his mm. shtick. So, yeah. That dwarf just had a really big axe. <sighs> hmm. Well, mm. yeah. 
I'll leave it to you lot. Uh, Kitless, any thoughts? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's fine at the minute. I mean, fine at how to heal vampire damage. It's, it's not a valid goal. We discussed no. that. We just sleep. <laughs> I, I, I just can't wanna... think of anything else to put there. I just want to investigate who this vampire guy is. and. I mean, it didn't even you know, vanish, oh. though, so... Yeah, but we've got, like, books and stuff right there, so, you know... Yeah, I mean, that's literally going to be it. I'm going to go investigate that pile of books. Yeah. Mm. Well, done. well, we could just find him and kill him. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a cool goal. We... <laughs> oh. Bye, are you? <laughs> <laughs> um... Kind of thing. Could I mean, we... like, yeah. What else do you want to do besides go kill the vampire, right? Mm. Kind of want to like find out what that vampire guy's agenda is and stop it. Yeah, it's a big goal. I think maybe uh, step one might be well, about, find okay, out who this? it was. If we just put investigate vampire situation as a goal, then that encompasses reading about him, learning about him, and it might encompass killing him, but we still investigate it if we don't end up hunting him down and killing him. Yeah, there's not really like a... Investigate the vampire situation's too vague. Like, mm. it needs to be... <laughs> like, yeah, like, it can, it can be done though, like, the idea behind it is solid as a goal, right? But it needs to have steps, so... Yeah. Like what the ultimate goal you just want to do is kill okay. the vampire, is that right? Yeah. Find, even yeah, even if he's a force of good in the world? What well, if you could help at the abyss? Find out who the vampire is. There you go. There's a good goal. Yeah. I Yay. I am helping. We made it. <laughs> It is, it's a process though, because you still have to kind of wade through all the stuff that you think might be important to get to the stuff that's this is, achievable. Yeah, this is where Ryan's oh, like, going to cool. fuck his over and be like, well, actually, he's not a vampire, <laughs> so it goes uncompletable. Lol. <laughs> it was Celeste. <laughs> with her, Reborn anew. With her little goth fangs and. Uh huh. I love it. <laughs> it's Halloween, bitches! Uh, I'm like, what's Halloween? Oh, it's from another world, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like, I learned about it when Ryan dropped all these notes. Who's Ryan? Never mind. <laughs> so, um, yes. I think everybody happy with trying to work out who the vampire dude is? Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, I have no idea for getting a do back. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, drop it over text. Who, who even knows such such wonderful things? Um, but anyway, so we may as well jump right in Wait. to the game then. Okay. Because, yeah. So, so ring a combo. I've just texted her. Nah, it'll be something like she's maybe her computer's crashed or something, or mm. who, who knows? To be honest, she might actually be talking to us now. So if you are Adri, we can't hear you because you're not even in the Discord channel. <laughs> Hello. Hereditary. Hello. Really sorry, I don't know what ah, happened, that's but my okay. internet just dropped on all devices. Well, welcome back. Um, Thank you. Ryan, this is what happens when you drop your session notes. So the, I know. Um, <laughs> did you check out what they put in as the goal? Second, I'm just... Tab. Oh! Oh, yeah! Duh, why didn't we think... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put vampire in brackets. And, like, quotation marks. <laughs> so that Ryan can't go, well, actually, he was... Uh, a, this. I am not a well actually type of person, I'll have you know. I'm a technically kind of guy. Mm. So... Uh, <laughs> technically, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. So... Where we left off was every day pretty beat up in uh, a yeah. fungally overgrown <laughs> cave yeah, of a uh, death. So, yeah. how's everybody feeling? What do we see ow, after the ow, fight kind of dies ow, down? Ow, ow, ow. Do we still have the uh, initiation order? The initiative? Initiative order, no. yeah. I mean, probably not, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Let's just find so out. that we yeah. could like, kind of work down the list and... Uh, who we, who does what? I mean, um, sure, if you want. Horses would probably be a good idea. 
Really? You're saying that? Yeah. So let's try and keep all the chat in character then, shall we? From now on. Um, Oof. I think after obviously I just realised I've knocked the bejeebus out of uh, some of you. I will. Um, I think yeah, maybe that's the thing we need to focus on, then, right? So maybe everybody sees like the eyes of Crumbar, like like undilate, I'm, right? Maybe I'm not that's the best. Anymore, so I'll untip that, yeah. So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by Scott. Ah! Sorry. The pure black eyes of the charmed Crumbar fade away, and his grip on like the axe loosens ever so slightly, and he's like, you know, his arms go down kind of by his side in a slightly, you know, bemused state. You can probably work out he's got control of himself. However. What do people do as a reaction to that? Because I think I'd rather get everybody's like initial reaction to that scene, because that's probably the best thing mm. to come cool back with. It. I'll be very, very gently, kind of like, you know, the way you would want to calm down a wild animal, be like, you know, holding my hands kind of like in front of me and be like, are you okay now, Crumbar? Very, very gently kick him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> you are in the snow, fool. I'm not within distance for that, <laughs> <laughs> Might not I stop think... uh, Reach's desires though <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody's desire To get in line I think I just You know kind of be like You know that kind of processing Thing and just be like I can't believe That happened Again mm. Wow Kind of um, how do I say this in character? Make an arcana check. Like, check <laughs> Grumba. I want to, like, be a, a, the field medic and ch check his heart rate and shit with my holy symbol sonic screwdriver and see if <laughs> the magic is gone. The evil. Right, so do you have detect magic? No. Do you have detect so evil? Mm, yes, but not right now. So then no is the answer to that. So no. I can't do a medicine check or anything. You can do a medicine check, but that isn't to check if he's like if the magic's there or if he's evil. Oh uh, can't. That just lets you check he's beat the hell up. <laughs> also, he's not covered in runes, so there's not much to arcana him for. You don't have like mm, magical uh, arcana you sense, you. it's just info you get with arcana Sweet. checks that way. So you'd need m mm. that's why we have detect magic and detect like good and evil or protection from good and evil and all those nonsensey spells. Mm, true. Yeah. Well, no, you go you could sleep three hours if you wanted to get them. Mm, <laughs> Wait right there, Crumber. <laughs> <laughs> Just stands for eight hours because you don't need to sleep. <laughs> it's tricky because like I'm a robot. Uh, I don't know what else I would do. <sighs> I mean you can go over to okay, any roll of medicine okay. if you want. Like, there's no issue with that. Okay. But, like, how would uh, Crumbar react to the robot? You need just screen saber on him for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know how he's approaching me yet, so let, let's see how that works out. Well, yeah, so can you describe the approach? Because Crumbar might be backing <laughs> away from you, buddy. So. <sighs> Magical weapon so on probably... one side, you at the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll reach. I'll reach into the uh, sort of field pouch and pull out my holy symbol, which is a shackle with a runic inscription on it. And so your shield's will... away or your weapons away? Sorry. No shield in one hand. Uh, yeah, weapon weapon sheathed. Cool. Perfect. <clears throat> so holding that in one hand, and I will just um, cautiously examine uh, for signs of life first of all, just in case he's undead now and just, you know, take a look weird vampire magic are you check looking... his pulse uh, are you looking from where you are or no, I'll get close and I'll actually reach out to a pulse I think like as your hand like you have like kind of came up towards me, and like as your hands just kind of like I don't know, like touch my shoulder or like from my neck or something like that, I've just kind of like 
darted back a wee bit and then just like looked at you and like dead in the eyes. I scream, he's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I think you needed to announce your actions because I don't think he's very touchy feely. Just saying. I, more so, I'm in shock. So it's like, oh, hello, shock victim. Let me just come up and. Not like that, though. Like the allies that have kept you alive for this long as well. You're kind of your bond mates, etc. You know, this is the, <laughs> you know, this is the second time you've been made turn on them. So it's probably not great. Right no. after the, uh, you know. Tribal I was trying to work yeah. out a way to turn this into a goal, but not... oh, okay. Then, then I guess I'll just look at him and I'll kind of see what the the way I was seeing red when I, when the drow first appeared and be like, you know what? Maybe I should just leave this. If he's if he's, if he's in a state of mind the way I was, then I I'll just back off for now. And he does look pretty beat up. Like your medicine check is pretty <laughs> clear in that he's had the check kicked out of him, not much so like yeah. most of you. <laughs> It's almost as if I've had half my health points taken off me. <laughs> Take a hundred damage. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's more than half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, so I think with that as well, your spiritual weapon vanishes. Oh yeah, it's gone. Piece of shit. Yeah. I think as that kind of goes, I'd like I'd notice that the fight's over. And I'd relax a bit more and just kind of like, you know, that kind of like fall, like not like fall over side, like just kind of like thud myself down, just sit down, just like, yeah, what happened? I mean, I feel like I've I, I talked too much, so. I'm... Does anyone else want to tell him what happened? Uh... Yeah, like Reach or Kitty or Arya, any of the other three party members that we have in this game. No, I'm I'm trying oh, to figure out how to put it in in words because, as far as I'm concerned, he probably knows a bit better than us what it felt like and such. For us, it just uh, looks like suddenly you stop fighting with us, but against us so that's why i'm not quite sure how i would phrase this it, it's more so i'm wanting to know if they worked out like straight away like oh yeah he clearly just got his mind taken over again or it's like it, what what the hell happened uh, what would we have to know to know if the he Basically, I'm asking this of Ryan. What would you have to roll so that our characters know that he was possessed, charmed, etc.? Because at the moment, all I think Arya definitely knows is that suddenly he stopped fighting with us and started hitting us. Sociopath. I mean... Well, possible. You've seen him mind-addled before, right? So... So I would just base that on, on that and be like, oh... It happened again. They messed with your head because, and then to placate him, I'll like say, without knowing for definite. If good... you take if you take Crumber his word without knowing for definite, then yeah, you could try and roll Arcana on the situation that transpired. But I think you were down at the time, were you not? I don't Death remember. Been down. Oh, I think uh, I was at some point. Yeah. So no, uh, I know. I don't care you went down. So I was, but don't... and reach, yeah. I just so mean, I just mean during, just during the charmed state. I mean, hmm. who wasn't down when Crumbar was charmed? I don't actually think um, Kitty was oh, down when Crumbar was charmed. I don't, I, I, I don't think anyone was. I mean, Reach got down by me. Oh. But... Uh huh. Yeah, that happened. But like, oh, it was after. <laughs> Make good point. Oh yeah, because maybe you went and healed Arya. Before yeah, you were charmed. He, he, uh, yeah, yeah so yeah, no, like, Ari, you could make a, an arcana check. Yeah. Loving uh, right up. Nope, Crumbar just seems oh, to. I don't know. Just seems yeah. to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. There's no. Like, you, also, because it's different. Thing again. It's different because before the red robed man cast a spell, right? You obviously seen the spell happen. That made Crumbar obey him. Whereas this time there was no spell. The vampire guy just asked 
Crumbar to help, and Crumbar just instantly turned on you guys. <coughs> there was no magic like waving around or anything, so. It's a lot. Hmm. Well, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I just spent the last, um, however many months in a city of research, poring over books. So I guess I probably instinctively make a beeline for the books to find an answer for this. Yeah. Right. I mean, let's find out. that because I'd be curious. Yeah, I'd join as well. Cause, like, books. You know, mm-hmm. Books and information. Books. Like obtaining some information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Loot. And they That's might right. be expensive, yeah. <laughs> I think I mean, it's... it's information sorry. pretty priceless, so... As, as they've kind of ran by me, um, I'm, I'll notice that Reach is still lying on the floor. She's um, probably set up by the way I imagine, but oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. A good point, yeah. I yeah. can see he had... <laughs> I stood up at one point. Yeah. Yeah. And how it's kind of gone in Well, map. let's do this in the turn order then, right? Let's have some order to this. So you can walk over to him, yeah, and you can help him up. Right, right yeah, that's so, no issue at all. So off you go. How, you can do that. How, we'll, how, whatever they'll have, like, their turns worth of stuff they can attempt to do. Right. So, so how it's kind of done in my mind is, you know that way when you've had like a dream that you can't quite remember and it's like, I know that I, I'm like, I know that I did that to reach, although I don't want to admit that it was my body that done it. So I'll just kind of go over to him and I will Kabwa for 15. All right, He's cool. Kabba got me a bit worried. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And as I'm kind of like, you know, I've put like my hand on his shoulder. You just kind of see like my hands start glowing and like the energy flowing to reach. And I'm picking and I'm kind of picking them up and I'm like, sorry about that, friend. So you're not getting me ready for the round two? No, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just kind of laugh it off and just like, maybe once, maybe <laughs> after we're out this tunnel. Oh, it's and a long tunnel. I, That's I kinda, long enough. I, I kind of give like this sigh of relief that um, he doesn't seem mad at me or angry or like hold a grudge towards me for it. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I get up. And, yeah. Yeah. So you get pulled up by Crumbar, and there's a bit of um. Yeah, we don't instantly hate you, jovial banter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about uh, Kitlith? What's the plan? Well, seeing that you know is sort of himself again, going to go over to the books mm-hmm. and uh, do an investigate. Also, be helpful if I had my. Uh, out, so I find 100 stuff. episodes of Play Elf because it's very boring down here in the caves. There we go. <clears throat> yep, so you just start pouring yeah. through the books. Yeah. Find some questionable stuff, no doubt. Lots of diagrams and pictures, yeah. So, Scott, keep your attention in the game, please. Not in chat. So, hi. The, uh... Anything in particular you're looking for through the books? What are you trying to discover? Just maybe something about, like, the ritual thing. Um, I mean, obviously there's a sarcophagus coffin thing. I can mm-hmm. do words. That's fine, yeah. yeah. All that, that's all good, yeah. <laughs> I imagine there'd be some... Where there's, like, the... The engraving around it, I'm guessing that'll probably have some significance, maybe? Yeah, so, um... Cool, so while you sat through the, um, the books, you maybe need to then have either somebody else help you out, or when it comes round to you again, do Arcana to then learn, like, significance of it. But you can tell that a lot of the books are all by, like, different people. None of them are by the same person. And they all are varying races, um, so some you can't necessarily read purely because you don't have the language for it specifically, mm. but for the most part you've got enough from each of them that suggests 
whatever the mage guy was doing, he was parsing all the bits of the books together as if it was part of a bigger thing, as if maybe all these people had part of the right idea. Does that make sense? Mm. So everybody was like almost yeah. like, you know, maybe they all chopped so in a couple of percent. Of piece, but they didn't know how to put them together. Yeah, and it seems like that pile of books is the, you know, <laughs> the Da Vinci Code of it all, you know? Yeah. Not to Terrific. Quote. Yeah. So, yeah, but all of it um, involved like various things like um, sacrifice, blood magic, um, you know, <laughs> just anything Black that, magic yeah. Dark magic stuff that isn't necessarily uh, okayed by most people. There's in fact many religions that have outlawed a lot of the books. Never mind Ooh. the uh, the practices within them. Um, can you roll a history for me just now, Kitless, as well? Yeah. You can have advantage on it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's just like what was that called? Anarchist cookbook. Awesome. Yeah, a bit like that. To oh, be honest, if we're gonna yeah. like use that, the um. <laughs> So your history role there, like the some of the names you recognise as people that were locked up like years ago, uh -huh. like Horizon, <laughs> like imprisoned these people. Like you maybe remember like their names on like you know wanted posters and stuff. <laughs> hey guys, we got some naughty books here. <laughs> you know who would love these books? Buffalo Aramos. Bill. Aramos. Aramos. Um, so yeah, that's what you kind of sit, and it's going to take you a wee while to go through this. Um, but that information is the equivalent of you like spending a lot, like about an hour reading, right? Oh, okay. Uh, reach. You get picked up by your once and future friend. Yeah, so, uh, okay, yeah. So we're back up, and yeah, okay, we had our wee joke. Uh, we're looking at. Mm. I do still think. By the way, has anybody seen the horses recently? Oh. Do you think it's still worth mentioning that? Uh, okay, probably no. It's because like the only person that had would have been Kitty, I think, and yeah. Kitty's busy with her nose and books. Yeah. I just sort of vaguely hear something about horses, and then just head goes deeper into the book. <laughs> 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 like, no, no, I did not think. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Who me? Yeah, so the horses are okay. a, a long I mile away. <laughs> 125. I would still like to have a wee look and see uh, if we can find them. Uh, yeah, no, so that you can start walking that way. What does I just move your token right. like arbitrarily, like just, just over? Kind of, right, I'll okay. let you know once you get there. Because the, <laughs> the spell doesn't go all the way through the cave, as I said, it only goes yeah. like 100 feet from the point. Um, so it does stop eventually, so I'll let you know once you get there. I'll cycle yeah. back to you because your time. Quarter of the way through then. Right, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, right. That other guy. Um, he attempts to like. He's like, oh, I'll come with you, and then uh, What? Off he uh, he tries to keep up, but obviously he is not going to keep up with you through this <laughs> at the best of times. <laughs> but you just see him like kind of yeah, hacking at, with his battle axe <laughs> at all the plants in front of him, and he shouts. Oh, yeah, that's still hot. And he shouts back as well. If a uh, if you want to keep this place safe, you should uh, burn those books so nobody else can read them before your last there gets any ideas. And he says that like straight to Bastille as he's walking away. Mm. And then that's his thing. So Arya, what are you up to? You've got Kitty off <laughs> sitting in a fungal kind of reading nook. You've got a uh, Crombar looking a bit sorry for himself. Bastille looking like he doesn't know what to do. Uh, a dwarf guy saying burn the books she's reading before she gets ideas and uh, <laughs> there's a laugh to solidify that worry and then, uh, <laughs> and reach off to go try and wrangle some horses so what's what's Arya's plan it will be curious about the books but by hell nobody's burning these <laughs> because Not until I've read them. because we can fi possibly find out things from them like important things that would help us figure out Who's that person that tried to create, well, that created a vampire and, you know, who the vampire might be and why the hell they wanted a vampire to begin with? Because that's forces you don't tend to mess with, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, um, you know, it's unnatural and that sort of thing. And why would anybody want something unnatural? So, also, for um, the most part in this world, vampire is like a made up term, right? And I don't mean that insofar oh, as this world. Yeah, it's like... 
things that should have died but decided not to, right? Not things that were brought back, right? Mm -hmm. So it's things that didn't die. I am See, God, this, I this, this, this is where I put vampire in uh, quotations. But no, it's like, it's fine, to, like, because we <laughs> know from a mechanical point of view it's a vampire, right, as players, mm -hmm. it's fine to have that as the goal wording, I don't mind mm -hmm. that, because it identifies who and what you're trying to do as a placeholder, yeah. but in terms of that, it's not like every day we'd run around saying the word vampire. If you said that to somebody, okay. they wouldn't know what you mean, right, necessarily. Sure. Like, mm -hmm. unless they're, like, a scholar of that specific subject, I then maybe they'll know it. Yeah. You told me that. <laughs> so, sure. yep. Yeah, so yeah. I'll be getting closer to Kitty, that's what I'll be doing, and I don't have enough to properly get out of the... It's okay, she never had enough to get there either, so it's fine. She still got there. Um, hey, okay. Grandma, oh, yeah, okay. Druid. Okay, so. I, well, they're faster than me, and they're going after the horses. I don't know if that would be a thing. And can you turn into something faster than a horse? Well, they're probably long gone. Turn into a horse. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one. I actually could, <laughs> but <laughs> exactly. Then people be like, "Oh, found one." <laughs> That's. I actually thought of that, and then I thought against it precisely because of that. Because <laughs> then I'd have to turn back and be like, "No, I'm helping you find them," and then turn back into a horse and then run into somebody else. It's like, "Oh, here's one." You yeah. run into eighty-four drow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How did you know yeah. I've got in the next map? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, I think um, yeah, you can head over to towards Kitty, and do you want to help her? Like, in fact, that's a better thing. Like, Kitty, what do you say once like Arya approaches, or does Arya say when you approach Kitty? What's that conversation like? I'll be like, so what are these all about? Um, what what's here? Forbidden books that. Uh... Should not be in existence right now. They should have all been burned many moons ago. Because the people who wrote them, they in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Bad books. She yeah, says, staring at them the intently. Other guys are, you know, the vampire and the. Do we know who they are? Do we know what they wanted? Does it say in them? Why would you do that? Uh, I am not too sure, but they all hold an element of. Something. Yes. That is what I will say. And I'm gonna sit down and have a look see. Okay. If possible, because I would be curious myself. Now, are you yep. approaching it a different way than her? Because there's not really much else to gain given her role of investigate. So, so unless you were trying to approach it from a different angle. Yeah, like, I was trying to figure out if it's like, um, like from the nature side of things, like I'll just tell you that no role needed. It's unnatural. In... <laughs> okay, I was about to say if there's any reason that nature would allow this to happen. Basically, that's what I was. No, it's trying to... one hundred percent a perversion of nature. Gotcha. So I'm not happy about mm. this. Yeah, okay. and you, you don't even need to roll to know that. Like things should die. It's part of the cycle. It's how you know things. Could... Yeah, right. Like it's it's literally True. how things happen, right? So, <laughs> how plants grow, yeah. <laughs> Stairs okay. around. Mm, unnatural. <laughs> plants everywhere. Um, but yeah, um, so you, you could approach it like... from a, I don't know, you could try a different angle on that. It's just, there's very little nature would tell you about this, because none of this was natural, right? Like, nothing about that was natural. Gotcha. Okay. In that case, um... I would have probably wanted to fake to go closer to here to see if I know who this guy is. I can read inscriptions and stuff near him. Hey, what languages do you have? Um, I totally forgot. I'll definitely have Elvish. It's on your proficiencies um, at the bottom left of your character sheet. Yep. Core yep, page. Yep, yep. Bottom left. Um. Oh, Elven, Dwarven, and Common. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So, mm. there is a mix of Elven and something else in there. Oh. Um, also, technically, you should have Infernal in there, by the way. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I, I 
don't oh, know yeah. how to add that. <laughs> I just type it in the compendium and then under it. it'll be a proficiency of some kind, a language proficiency, and then just drag it over and it'll add it to you for you. Cause yeah. you, you have that because that got completed. Um, yep, yep, I know. The uh, Yeah, so the elven isn't just elven. There's like, how would it describe it? See if you had like, you know, somebody made a big logo for you, right, in a language you couldn't read, oops. but then you like drew vines all over it or something to try and decorate the letters. It's like okay. there's strange symbols all over it that seem to be decorated with elvish in some way is the best way. I know that's really vague, but like that's the best I've got. Yeah. Kanji. Um, like in a way, yeah, like it's, as I said, the elven itself is almost like kanji insofar as like a symbol like conveys mm -hmm. a lot more than what it should. But yeah. The, so what's uh, kan kanji? What's that? Japanese. All right. Oh, right. It's like um, symbology, essentially. It's where yeah. a symbol has meaning of multiple words. Um, right. Okay. But the so, like the elven like kind of that you're seeing isn't. It's not. It's like gibberish, right? It's not. Even uh, the books are unnatural. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> this is the, this they've, isn't. They've and this isn't the, the books. You're not looking at the books. Of... You're looking oh, at the books. Sorry, the inscription. <laughs> you're looking at the inscriptions on. Yeah. And all the stonework, yep. So, yeah, so even in the writing, it's all unnatural and not as less things should be and not yeah, proper. Cause you look at it and you think, right, cool, I can read Elvin. And then you look at it and go, that's Can't gibberish, yeah. right? It's like when yeah. you hit the wrong keyboard shortcut and you get all the coding from the website. And you're like, wait, what? I don't want to be here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, it's like yeah. that. But you can tell that there's clearly like a pattern to it. You just don't know what it sure. is. Sure. Um, I'll I'll look towards Kitty and be like, I can't figure this out. It's kind of elfish, but not. Have you ever seen anything like this before? And that you could roll Arcana on it if you wanted. Um, on that. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I will. Uh, then do so. Arcana. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I had an issue with where in the alphabet is Arcana. No, that's for some okay. Because the, there's um, acrobatics and animal handling, and it wasn't the first one, but I almost clicked on acrobatics. Just cartwheels over it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to read exactly. that, damn it! It's when you're in a video game and you push the wrong shortcut. Um, yeah. But yes, so the. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, there's not much yeah. more than that. It, it could be tied to something more, but. You've not got enough to know. go on. Yeah, not got enough gotcha. to go on. But it's definitely Fair not enough. normal elven, and it could easily be part of a ritual. You could take a rubbing of it if you wanted. Could do what, sorry? If you've got parchment, if somebody actually has parchment, you could always take a rubbing of it. Um, let's take my inventory. I don't know if I did, to be honest. It's okay, you can have a look at that. We'll move on to Bastiel. Yeah. Um... I'll look around the ritual area for other ephemera that were used in the process, uh, components for the spell and things like that. And I'll, I'll cast guidance on myself first. Yeah. Uh, then, do you want to give me your investigate rule? And we'll see how your CSI goes. <clears throat> yep. Do I, shall I just manually type in the D4 uh, for guidance? I mean, you can just hit the D4 roller. Where's the... But you may as well roll the check first. Yeah. Uh, investigation. Can it not be perception? Nope, because you're actually like trying to find okay. things. It's not just a glance. Uh, and then at the side, yeah, we got it. Cool. So 19. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, much of the place itself is covered in fungus. Thick, thick fungus. Fuck. As a surprise. Yeah. And like, Kitty is currently like picking off fungus to pick books out of it. So, yeah. There's that. Um, so, yeah, if there was. look tasty. If there was. It probably is edible. Maybe once. And um, if you. <laughs> Yeah, so if you were looking for like, I don't know, bloodstains on the ground or like, I don't know, a wand or something, it's. Yeah. You're going to be there a while. No, mm. uh, no, nothing like that. The only thing, really, right? So there's the stone chair behind Kitty, there's the pile of books, and then the thing that Arya's looking over. So, but beyond that, 
yeah, like everything's covered in fungus, so nah, it's really difficult to to say anything. But I... I also because I mean, you know, you know, you're older nineteen, like mm -hmm. it probably means there isn't much, right? To find. Oh, okay. So I okay, I don't find anything because I'm confident there is nothing. Well, that's what rolling a high number would mean. Just like if you rolled a low number, you'd still be confident you didn't find anything because you don't know how well you're rolling character. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Meta is horrible, uh, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, a lot of times we shouldn't be able to see our own rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be honest, so it yeah. Make that easier. <laughs> yeah. You know what? There's some GMs roll stuff for players, and I don't actually understand why they hmm. would ever play that. That like I've heard of games like that, and. My god, that'd be a weird experience where it's like... Half the fun of playing in person is to roll mm. the it's dice. Funny. It's when you've so got like a straight face point. and you have to say something super confident when you know you've rolled a one, but you're convinced <laughs> it's the right thing. And you're like, well, guys, I sure bet we're safe here. <laughs> um, yeah. After you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's also just for a responsibility thing. I prefer you to be responsible for the rules, not me. So... Um, Yes, I think by this point as well, um, everybody's kind of busy doing something at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I think we go back to Stu, right? So we get Reach, we focus on Reach. Uh, you make it to like here, you can see like the, the zone ends. Cool. Um, and then you obviously oh, can speed up. I can see it. ground! <laughs> <laughs> the strange overgrowth finishes. So we'll move you right over here. And yeah, that's what you see. One, two, three, uh, okay. Yeah. So, you can see three of them. Yeah. I'm at the edge of the map. Right, okay. Uh, did we have four at the beginning, I presume? It yes. wasn't one for Busty, wasn't it? Right, yep. okay. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, these are the horses you brought from Glitterhagen, I want to say. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Right, okay. I... Grab these three, mm -hmm. so I get the reins of them, and I take them back north up to the, the group. Yep. So abandoning the other one? Definitely at the moment, yeah. Cool, I'll just pile them up, and that's obviously going to be a trek back the way, so I'll deal with you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go through maybe another round of what everybody else wants to do before we probably actively do a short rest by the time Reach gets back, yeah? So, I, I think, I think we'll assuming you want rest. to. I mean, you just tell me, do you want a long rest in a cave? Probably. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna need one. Okay. Uh, um, right, so Grumbar, yeah, what do you do? Right, yeah. we've got Reach already I... off doing horsey things, so. I'm gonna just kinda walk over there to approach the group, and as I stand there, um, I am going to, you're gonna kinda like, see my eyes kind of glow a shimmery kind of goldy thing and i'm just gonna use one of them okay let's read the text as an action you can open your awareness to detect such forces until the end of your next turn you know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you that's not behind total cover uh, blah 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 blah. That's the point. You do know about undead, so you might not know specifically about vampires, but he knows about undead. No, you use line of sight on them for divine sense. Yeah. yeah, you'd think so based on how class abilities work, but you mm. don't based on how the world works. And right. the oh. as I said, necromancy is super super rare. It's not to say people haven't fought like skeletons walking around because they definitely have in the world. It's just. <laughs> People don't didn't know how that happened. It's magic, right? Magic's magic and bad sometimes. So let's see. And uh, presence. Yeah, pretty much. Like magical hippies. <laughs> um also no. But <laughs> <laughs> also does it presence of any place or object that has been consecrated or desecrated as with the hallow spell. Okay, yeah, so go so, get me the hallow spell. What sorry? Go get me the Hallow spell. From the compendium. Mm hmm. And just. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. While he's doing that, right, uh, Kettle, what are you up to? Oh, wow, there is a lot to this. So, let's get through the books. 
Yeah, uh, to what end? You've kind of got, like, that's, remember, you'll be doing that for, like, about an hour-ish, so is there anything else you kind of want to do in the narrative jumble of this hour that we're playing with? Particularly, because I'd want to be sort of doing a thorough check of them all, because, you know, it's information that is banned. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Well, it just depends. Are you going to try and pocket some of them, or are you going to, like... Yeah, like I feel like I'd do the a book lover's worst thing and like rip some pages out Ooh. Like, secretly. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. So is there anything in particular you'd be more interested in from forbidden books if you're ripping certain pages out? Like what would Kitty want forbidden ways to do? I don't know. Have a think about it, hellos. right? And I'll come back to you. Is it hell <laughs> Well. As I said, have a think about it. I'll come yeah. back to you before you start ripping out random pages, because I'm not just going to generate. and all that. Yeah, right. That would be good. <laughs> right, reach me know what you're up to. Uh, yeah. That dwarf guy's obviously still making his way okay. downtown. <laughs> 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 So yeah, he's um I mean, I feel like you'd probably pass each other, right? Like that's probably enough to say that that's within the the time bubble. You mean dwarf there. guy. Cool. And he's like, "You found your horses then?" Uh, not all of them. One of them's going off, probably further south. I'm guessing, but that's that was the one that had most water as well. Well, if I see it on my travels, I'll send it back to you. Cheers. Thanks. Yep, and then he just. You know, passes by, and then um, I'll speed. oh, very, very slowly. Yeah, like yeah. it's all kind of narrative, probably. <laughs> um, right, Arya, we're back to you. So figuring out that I can't read this and I can't figure out who this might have been, because all the writing that I can see is gibberish. Um. And I know that Kitty's onto the books. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a bit this way. Oops, what did I do? I don't know. What did you do? Where, One second. Tell, talk to me before you try things on the map, please. The map is a danger. <laughs> I, I'm learning that. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I was I was going to go like towards where the guys came from so I think it would have been actually this way to try to see if the other horse is essentially this way sort of thing. I guess you just want to go kind of wandering looking for the horse. Yeah. Cool. Find the dead guy. It's okay. Yep, you're just it's going to take you a while so don't worry. Yeah. We'll come back to you. Okay. STL. So um, do I have time in all of this um, sort of pre-long rest Okay, are you going to move on? Oh. You need to stop. Oh, sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. As I said, it's going to take you a long time. Remember, it's four times movement. Oh, yeah. oh this also includes it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> See everything that's green? That was you. Yeah, but this bit doesn't look green to me. That's why I thought I could move. I thought I was out of See the See the centre of the green? If you scroll away from it, it just, just stops drawing all the green. It's a wee bug. It's, um, it, so. it depends how you've got your map zoomed. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I, I zoomed if you're actually, myself if, out so I can see yeah, it Yeah, if you're now. actually zoomed in, it doesn't do that. Okay. Anyway, I, best deal. Uh, but yeah, do I have time for an hour-long ritual during all of this? Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah, I don't okay. think I'm running away, so... <laughs> then, um... What's the ritual you're thinking? Use... Also, give me two seconds till I have a look over Hallowed as well, since it's been in, based in the chat. Yeah. So obviously, Scott, you read through all of this. Not yet, I was waiting on you. I don't know why, because it's your spell. Alright, I thought we were going through it together. All right, no. I'll have a look. <laughs> if, you, if you want to use your abilities, you need to know how they work. It's not no. my job. So, I'll come back to you. That's no. TL. Yeah, I'll, I'll move to this safe zone, away from all the fungus. And I'll use my artisan's blessing feature to convert a light hammer into it saucy pickaxe, like a beastly pickaxe. 
Right, okay. So you want a, like a tool, essentially. Yeah. If we're going to keep going through these caves and stuff, also, I think I want to take a chunk out of um, that centerpiece around the coffin or the stone throne or something. Don't you have like a big hammer? Yeah, but pickaxe. I mean, yeah, if, if you have a light hammer. Like, how much does a light hammer cost, and how much does a pickaxe cost? Uh, pickaxe And then I'll come back to you when you learn that. Uh, Crumbar, have you learned who Hallowed works yet? Learned the first bit. Cool. Also, okay, it's maybe worth you doing an arcana check based on the fact that you would need to understand what would be useful to take, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. And we'll see how well that goes. Do you want to just do that just now for me while they're having a, a think about what they want to do? Yes. Well, I mean, yeah, right? Of all the times to get in that 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Yeah. So... Here's the thing, Ketlis Anastasia. <laughs> you sit and tear out pages and sit them around you because you think, well, this bit maybe leads on to this bit, as if you're building, like, you know, a book. You know, mm -hmm. the way this guy probably sat and read all the different things through different books mm -hmm. without ripping them out because he obviously had respect for the institution of books. But the, um, <laughs> as you're looking at all of it, maybe you kind of look down in the circle of paper that's now kind of resting on all the fungi and you sit and go wait a minute if you had enough juice behind you right enough power you could probably undo bindings so if something was like magically bound you'd probably have a an idea of how to break the binding. Need enough power. So, like, portals, hell holes. Mm. I mean, what you're saying? A binding? It's like... Not what I'm saying. No, I, everything I said is what I was saying. But um... <laughs> so there might have been a binding around that uh, that sarcophagus. Could have been. That he's broken. Could have been. Maybe that's what the books were for. But. It would require a lot of power. And it's not power that can just be like pulled from the weave magically. And it would need to be like you take it, right? This isn't like casting the spells that you know how to cast. This is powering it with life. Make sense? Hmm. Like, something that you would remember as bindings, right? Remember when you were in, like, Justoria's basement, for lack of a better term? And then Magna turned up and encased that huge creature thing? Mm -hmm. The three-crowned man? Yeah, like, he bound that. So with enough power, you could break that binding. That's the comparison I'm making. Okay. Not to say that you'd have enough power to do that specific example, just in general, yeah. that type of idea. But it would be a lot of work and a lot of resources and a lot of death to, like, you know, mm. carry the life energies, as it were. But it's doable, and it's something that, like, that's pretty much what you gather from that. So if you want to write in your inventory um, somewhere that you have a an unbinding ritual, and it requires, like, life force to power. And that's what you'll learn from your tearing pages out of books. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself because my keyboard is so clacky. My mum walked past and went, are you sewing something? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Oh, God, she thought it sounded like... <laughs> A sewing machine, that's amazing. Wow. I, I was just like, no. Mm -hmm. Right, so 
who who's ready? Or does Reach somehow get back with the horses before Crumbar understands his divine powers and the... Uh... Oh, really? Oh, sorry. We've got... Yeah, uh... I'm ready. Right, so... Do you now understand what the second part of Divine Sense meant? Uh, yeah, so about being able to see if Hallow had been cast. Uh, um, the place or object... Uh, yeah, so... So within uh, the same radius, detect, you also detect yeah. the presence of any place or object that's been consecrated or desecrated, as with the hollow spell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, like the desecration, so you've got like uh, conjure, darkness, daylight, energy protect, energy vulnerability, everlasting rest. I can't pronounce that bottom one. Uh, extra. Extra dimensional something. interference. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. Uh, fear, silence, and tongues. Yep. Tongues. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Affected creatures can communicate with any other creature in the area, even if they don't share common language. So yeah. And that. None of that. None of that seems to be applicable in this area. Um, there's been no. Like, no consecration. Um, in terms of desecration, the places it doesn't give off good vibes. But beyond that, you did like there's nothing. Anything that you know um, your senses would have picked up in doesn't seem like there's any exact let me get the exact wording here so it does not detect any celestials fiends or undead within 60 feet of you assuming the party aren't celestial fiend or undead mm. um, I was hoping that it would uh, you know how that the things Aria was looking at on the walls on the coffin thing yeah, sorry, coffin thing. <laughs> um, the like etchings and stuff. I was hoping that they would be able to get translated somehow with tongues or not. But oh well. No, because um, you don't cast hallowed. It just lets you know if somebody else did. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, you'd, you'd need hallowed to cast it. Hmm. But also, Hallowed wouldn't work that way because it would just be the people in the area can yeah, talk to each yeah. other. Um, it doesn't let you read stuff in the area unless the text is somehow a creature, which I wouldn't put past 5th edition. But yes, I, how is Bastille getting on with his... Um... Yeah, I can do that. They're exactly the same value. Perfect. That's what I was hoping they would be. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, you just... I think it just. How does that look? Describe the visuals of it, because it's obviously going to take you a while of this. Um, so, is the floor like solid rock, or is it kind of earthen? Like, it's, uh, a, it's a mix of both. It's like it's as if um, dirt's been tracked in, as if there's been a lot of movement in here, right? But um, for the most mm. part, it is like the stone's a bit more polished than you would expect. But again, that might just be foot traffic. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. It definitely doesn't so, just look like a stat like it doesn't look like a naturally formed cave floor for the most part in that small area. Mm -hmm. Even though there are like it, they definitely seem to have left the, the stalagmites there. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Then uh so I'll use my holy symbol, the broken shackle. Um I'll I'll take kind of a broken jagged edge and inscribe primordial and celestial ruins into the floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. into a kind of arcane circle. Mm -hmm. Or holy circle, I guess. And I'll place the hammer down, and over the course of an hour, it'll melt into liquid metal and reform into a pickaxe. Nice. I like it. Right. Yeah. I Crumbar, anything else you're doing with your divine senses? Or uh, nothing really else to get off of them. Um, I take it Kitty's pretty much went through all the books. It also tore out a lot of the books, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> like, he sort of comes over and I'm just there like... <laughs> yeah. I, yep. to look at him, I guess I, I guess I'd just go <laughs> go kind of in, investigate around Rikitti, like, there -ish, and just see if I can pick up anything that she's already booked, into, <laughs> like, booked the hell out of them all. <laughs> So there's your foley for this episode. 
Yeah. Um, I'll just ask her as like okay, as I kind of walk over, I'll just kind of look towards Kitty and just be like, "So, have you found a name?" There are many names. <laughs> She's lost it. You stare at her eyes, and it's just text going by, like a teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> well, names for whatever came out of that coffin. No, I don't think anything is specifically stated what was in it. It's more like yeah, I'll give you that answer actually right now because it's definitely like hundred percent same vein as what you're going with there. Uh, nothing mentioned this coffin at all, or even this location. Nothing at mm. all. It was all about the process that you learned, mm. the unbinding. Nothing to yeah. do with. Like even, yeah, like yeah. nothing even remotely like resurrection or undead because or anything like that. Nothing like that at all. How to release him? Not necessarily who him is. Yeah. Right. Mm. Just like, not even no. how to release him. How to release things bound? Right. Yeah, just things. Yeah. Um, I'll just say to her. Like, <laughs> Bindings well, and their undoing. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That is the title of this. <laughs> um, I'll just be like. I need to find a name. I want to stop this guy. And maybe go investigate the coffin. <laughs> maybe help me out here. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I go investigate the coffin, Ryan? Or are you wanting to see what other folk are doing first? Uh, does that like? I mean, what do you what do you want to look for the, at the coffin for? It's a big stone box with some weird writing on it. Can oh, a stone look, box. Can yeah. I look inside it? Do, 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 do. It's empty. <laughs> what, sorry? It's empty. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. Um, I was hoping he kind of left his driver's license or something. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back, pushes you away. Sorry, I forgot this. Lifts no, his man, wallet. <laughs> <laughs> his wallet with his ID in it says, like, Vladimir. From <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's still going to be called Vladimir, isn't he? Student debt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an IOU one backstory um, <laughs> no it's like it's just it's a very uncomfortable looking stone box to be honest mm. um, in fact do you want to roll investigate Grumbar why not actually roll yeah just, yeah just like harvest some dead skin cells 20 no oh. oh, Scott's going home fuck this it's a big empty stone box buddy Cool. Big empty stone box. You ah. would maybe struggle to squash in, but you could probably get in if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying that. <laughs> <laughs> what if wow. it takes you somewhere else? It'll be another bag situation. Whoa. Like a uh, like, like how ba- like how Batman got to his a uh, you know bat cave from Wayne Tower or some shit like that, right? In his yeah. weird coffin. Just a slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that super happy fun slide. Um, <laughs> it won't be. Anyway, um, right, cool. Does anybody else have anything specifically of note to do besides are you trying to get down to the horses? Because I Any, think anything with. The... Oh, sorry. It's okay. So I think Reach, obviously, that dude is long since gone. You've obviously tried to navigate horses through squishing them up uh, yeah. to the rest of the group. I think with with great effort. I think I've also pulled some bad guys. Let's let me put them back. Ooh. They need to Please go back. Bring in more bad guys. Bad no, they guys. are dead bad guys. He brought the corpses to us. Yeah, I just need to put them back. <laughs> they don't deserve to come with us. They they failed. Um, so I'll just move the horses. I feel like maybe I should actually investigate the coffin area since I've read through the books and I might be able to pick something out. That the others might have missed. Give me two oh, seconds, because you'll have taken time with the books and ripping stuff out. Crumbar wandered mm-hmm. about and with his divinity tried to like sculpt the place out in detective mode. We had um, a massive forging ritual appear as well. All that takes about an hour. Adri, you went down and yeah, like there is nobody down here. This guy isn't here anymore. He's uh, I'll just move him away. Um, but so you're at the start of the entrance. There's no horses there. I am. Um, how much you were paying attention to what Reach was up to, I don't know, but like, yeah. Did we pass each other on the way? No. She, no, no okay. By the time she made okay, it down, I'll, you'd I'll have started back. making your way back up. 
So yeah. yeah, I'll head back up as well. Yep, so you're, you're happy just to go back here? Yeah. Okay, so you head back up. I'll just pop you back with everybody else. Um, and I guess, like, some of the horses maybe just start to eat some of the, the fungus on the ground, just, just the like sniffing it and maybe, you know. But yeah. How long do we need to wait till they eat it all? Or pass out your fear at least? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to spend eight hours here, then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. Right, I think with this then. Do we want to do short rest, long rest? Um, I'll cover what Kitty wants to do first, though, obviously, with investigate the coffin check. Uh, but is there anything else that comes up that anybody else wants to do before we just decide what rest you want to take? Uh, if the throne or that little circle piece underneath the stone sarcophagus or the tomb itself has any inscriptions or anything on it, I'd like to smash off a piece. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> you can definitely do that. We'll let um, Kitty investigate first because you probably approach just as she's doing that, yeah? Yeah, because we'll obviously, you's, just because you both took about an hour doing the same thing, yep. like what you did. Um, so yeah, give me a wee investigate check, my dear. Cool. Yeah, there seems to have been when you obviously Crumber pushes the coffin lid off to look inside, and it's empty, and he goes, "Oh," and kind of huh. walks away. Um, you see the underside of the lid, and it's all covered in claw marks. Oh, he was alive when he went in there. Oh, oh. Well, conscious. <laughs> or woke up later on. So yeah, it's like... Yeah, pretty bad claw marks. Yeah. Die. Yeah. Um, no bloodstains or anything, though. Just, just claw marks. Right, and then Bastille, do you want to give me some... I guess pickaxery. <laughs> <laughs> pickaxery. So it's what like, there's a tool for this, right? Could be. Is that? Yeah. It's the tool is the pickaxe. I have Smith's tools proficiency as well. Yeah, like it's probably not Smith's tools, but I don't mind. You can use that. It's fine. Like, it's not a big a deal. Okay. I don't know if there is actually a. <laughs> it's be stone cutters or something like that, right? Stone carvings mm -hmm. of some kind, masonry. Up to you. Uh, I could do like sleight of hand, and then that decides whether or not I botch the thing. In no, early. it's. I mean, it's probably more like athletics if it was anything. But I think I'm happy with the Smith's tools. Just go for that for now. And it's probably oh. with strength. Let's face it. Oh okay. Oh, I didn't know you could just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Can mm. I guide myself? Because I would have. Uh, you can, but it's matter. You still get a chunk regardless. It's, oh. it's not going to make that big a difference. It's not that hard a check as to break some stone. Um, yeah, a, a piece with the kanji on it. Yeah, so that's off the actual coffin itself. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep. So you just like break a bit off. So now if the lid was on it, somebody could hang their arm out one side. Just so you know. <laughs> you take weird mementos of things. <laughs> also, I still feel like Ryan's trying to get me to go in the coffin. <laughs> but see, now you can fit crown bar. <laughs> I never said be comfortable, but uh, yeah. Um, right, so what's every day? What's the plan? Long rest, short rest, death rest. Long rest. rest. <laughs> yeah. well, I can do trance. Yeah, and I can do centuries rest. So, right, yep. Enough about, enough about your disco lights. So, sen <laughs> centuries rest just means that for him to benefit from a long rest. So, a long rest is eight hours regardless of what anyone does, right? That is just a long rest, but what you do during the rest is dependent on what you do. Most people need eight hours sleep. The elf doesn't because the elves are awesome and they only have to trance kind of semi-consciously um, mm -hmm. for four hours. But they still need to have four hours of doing pretty much nothing as well to benefit from the long rest. You've also got sentry's rest, which is awesome because who knew robots don't need to sleep. But you kind of just still have to just stand there. But you're not semi-unconscious at all. You're just... You can still see and hear. You just can't really do much. So... He could yeah, quite literally be like our guard. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, yeah, it's what's called sentry's rest. Yeah, that's what yeah. he did before. Um, mm. What about everybody else? Is everybody happy to go for the, the long rest? Yeah, we've got a nice comfy bed anyway. Yes, please. And I think everybody, so everybody's happy to sleep <laughs> considering, um, you know, well, yeah, that's a question, right? So are we putting the horses in the fungi? Are we putting them in the 
the cleared area? Are you just sleeping in the fungi for the softness of it? Like, well, I mean, they won't be able to run away if they're there. I mean, they're staying in the plant area, but rather the plants than the fungi. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, the, the I'll, horses would eat the, 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 the plants, right? Keep in mind, the, the plants just emphasize what was already there. It is all fungus that's here, buddy. Um, right, yeah. It's horrible, right. in my opinion. But yeah, so I'll put them there, and if you are wanting to sleep, you know, you can attempt the. Obviously, you can decide where you want to stand in all this, uh, Bastia. Uh, Go for the soft, squishy bed. I, I won't yeah. put you on the rocks. That's, yeah, that was... I'll, I'll move the drift globe and stuff. Yeah. Um. Yay, sleepy time. Um, <laughs> so, also, boo that we're down a horse. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, so cool. before Andy changes anything, what's the sleeping order? I think pretty much just I was going to say, I, I was gonna say yeah, everybody else can just sleep. Yeah. yeah. And, yep. uh, and obviously, obviously Bastille will just... Um, yeah, Kitty's trance is already a factor based on yeah. my own love of elves. So. Mm -hmm. so if that's the case, Kitty can also like help out guard after four hours, I guess? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like a Oh, it's true. You can transfer four hours and then light activity, which includes like being on watch. Yeah. So you can do four hours of helping out, being on watch, and four hours sleeping. I, I use sleeping loosely. Um, so, before I start changing stuff... Nobody's changing anything, because it's not completed yet, because I haven't right. said change stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. First four hours or last four hours? When you transing? Or somewhere um, in the middle? Probably somewhere in the middle. So like two hours trans, two hours? Because you need to take eight hours of rest. Yeah, that would, that would work. Uh, Scott, you're not okay. <laughs> I know it's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I get a full amount of health back, I don't care. I just need to know how you're breaking it up. That's all. I thought I had to do a full solid four hours first. Nope. You you need to do eight hours rest regardless, but you can transfer four of those hours at any point in the middle. That would be your sleeping, as it were. Everybody else needs okay. to sleep for eight Let's hours. Let's do the opposite of mine, so we have all the bases covered. Oh, so you, yours is six, not four. Yeah. So there'll be overlap, if that was mm -hmm. the case. So... That's why I need these numbers. So, are you taking two hours at the start, at the end, Shan, or like? Yeah, uh, two hours uh, for sure, fully powered down. Like when you recharge a exhausted phone, you can't just start <laughs> using it again. No, no. So you need you need to take six hours like that. Well, isn't it? So uh, you need to take six hours, hours like that, and then you and nope. then six hours sentry. Nope, because you don't need to sleep. You've got two hours of light activity you can do. Where you don't need to be inactive, oh and you've got six where you are the shut off one, uh, but you can oh still God. see. Ah. Yeah, you can see why the question wow. is important. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I don't know what to do with two hours in this cave. Uh, so, keep watching. Like I've got normal. I've got eight hours that I need to account for, guys, and mostly it's just Kitty and uh, Bastiel I need to care about. Mm. So. When in that eight hours, Bastille, are you taking your six hours of inactivity? I'm assuming at the end. At the, yeah, it makes sense, right? Be alert for the first two hours, see if anything goes down. Then yeah. be like, hey, cool, I'll, I'll go into like you know semi-less responsive mode, even though it's not by much. Um, yeah. And then what about Kay? Where are you taking your four hours in the eight? Because it needs to be uh, a block of four. Yeah, so... Um towards the end as well. Cool, so you're going to be alert for the first four, and then yeah. sleepy times-ish yeah. for the last four. Cool. Uh -huh. It can use, in fact, crumbar, because it's painful. Do you want to roll a d8 for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, nightmares. Cool. Perfect. Can... I guess, let's see. Roll perception Bastiel. But you. Yeah, I was going to say, but you won't be getting advantage from Kitlith. 
that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Let me uh, see how well this goes. <laughs> that's never a good sign. I mean, no. It definitely isn't. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bastiel. Mm. You obviously are like inactive. You're kind of looking around, just keeping edgy and stuff. Looking over mm -hmm. at the, the big broken coffin. Looking back down the way towards like the kind of cave, like way that you you didn't travel, right? The opposite way, the one about like reaching that I did came up, and then all of a sudden you are attacked. <sighs> oh, I want some health back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It is a terrible roll. Wow. Yep. Laugh at him. And this guy appears. Who managed to sneak through all the soft, soft fungus beneath his feet. Yeah, he rolled a 22 in his stealth check, by the way. Damn. Yeah, I was actually really shocked. I was expecting you just to grab him by the throat or some shit like that, but apparently he, <laughs> he was the competent one. What was the wow. D8 for then? Uh, what, which hour he would try to attack. Ah. Uh, oh, so there he's got uh. buddies. Oh. Yeah. Shit, I literally have zero spell slots. Well. <sighs> okay. I don't want to wake the others up because then they'll lose their rest. I think as well. Kitty, you can roll perception um, just now uh, at disadvantage. And we'll see if you. Yeah, you you can wake up if you want. I was awake already. No, what I mean is, you're in a semi-unconscious state when you trance. But those are the last four hours. This is the sixth hour of all the eight, so this is literally oh. in that period, right? This is why I only made Emerald the perception check initially. That makes no sense. Remember when I said I needed those specific numbers for a reason? This was mm. the reason. And then Crumbar rolled the number he would attack on, so this was over six. Yep. Yeah. Or you can just pretend to sleep still. I don't know what Kitty wants to do. But, uh, yeah. Jump up and punch him! You hear that anyway. Uh, right, do you want to give me a wee... Uh, well, you know. Initiative roll, please, Bastille. Yeah. On that. Oof, yes. nice. Ooh, nice yeah, yeah. Done. What is your dex modifier, Kitlith? Also, it doesn't count, Shan, because you didn't click your token. I did. I mean, I'm looking at the order. And you didn't. So. <laughs> oh, I, what the... I mean. Did I? It's, I just clicked it like 14 times and did it again. Uh, okay. Should oh, token gold be bits out from it? Like the health and so on. That, okay. There we go. It's only one worse than your original roll. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Uh, Kitlith, what was your dex mod? Where am I looking for that? Very left hand side. Ooh. All your stats. Oh. Probably is it two. Three. Plus three, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. It just means you get to go before. Him. There you go. Right. Past DL. Alright. Quiet. Your Quiet. rest has been interrupted. <laughs> I'm going to say that it's only one guy. I'm going to think about the 14 guys that looked exactly like him that we pureed on the way here. And I'm going to think, you know what, I'll put them down and let the others uh, heal up, rest up. So I'll swing at him with my... I mean, that's going to hit, right? Wow. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
You smack him with your warhammer. Yeah. Uh, get this. You hear what sounds like, you know, your kind, as it were, being pummeled by a warhammer. <laughs> wow. He's clearly not of my kind. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go out like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm obviously gonna fuck at this dude. Yep. Uh, Get up, grab it. your crossbow, fire it. Yeah. Faux pas. Oh, no, wrong thing. 21 hits Whoa. though. Yeah. Why is the number that color? Because she had a disadvantage still toggled, that's why. Mm. So it shouldn't have rolled twice, it should only have rolled once, like yours. Oh, okay. Um, yep. And yeah, now he did you dies. I literally wake up, go, oh, fuck this. Plah, done. <laughs> Boing. Typical kitty, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I am this trying. annoys me. You will me. die. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um. I, I guess I'll, I'll kind of nod at kitty in that way that's like uh, we should probably uh, check this guy real quick throw him on the pile of his friends and then go back to rest. You'd need to start your rests from scratch if you did that. Just so you should know because that's you've already broke your rest so you just need to take this like the full time again. Well do we not have to do that either way now that we're awake? Yeah. But I mean like that just obviously if you didn't start dragging him through times four movement as well you're definitely you know you're oh okay you're saying we're more likely to okay all right now i'll go back to bed right where i killed him yeah just just shut back down again yeah <laughs> warm Killers. love it uh i'd like to do <laughs> perception to like see if i can do my spidey senses see if there's any more nearby sure roll i think it's fine just hear some horses and some snowing I'm gonna I'm gonna write a note saying we need an extra hour. <laughs> like slap it on my forehead or something. <laughs> <laughs> on the back of rare ritual texts, need another hour. Puts on yeah. forehead. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um yeah, so I think we have it where we just fade out there and go to break, right? Because mm. I think that's uh, maybe a nice place to leave it. And during the break, um, we'll take 15 minutes and you're just going to all do your long rest during that break because I don't want to do it when we come back. So, Yay. see you all at 9 o'clock. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.